Hey guys, uh, on our way to Brandon, gonna go see uh, meet Gigi of uh, Gigi Fabrics and also Juki Junkies. I'm super excited. Gonna check out the uh, Juki 1541S. Bring some scrap material with me. Gonna do a little sewing. Test this bad boy out. They said I can film in there, so that's awesome. Um, I didn't really know who Chi Chi was until like yesterday, maybe the day before. So yeah, I went and did uh, a little research, went and checked out their pages, checked out their live videos. Dude, Gigi is a little bit of a firecracker boy. She is uh, just a little ball of joy and energy, man. Wow, like all you do is watch her and you can just smile. like. You just feel so good like watching her like do her thing like it's inspiring seriously like i can't wait to meet her like, i don't know i doubt we'll go live but man she is a uh, she's awesome so i can't wait to meet her i'm running a little bit behind i'm supposed to be there at 11 30 i think i'm not gonna be there till like 11 40. i feel bad being late i try never to be late sure she has a busy schedule so she's actually personally like going to be there for this so yeah anyways that's all i had to say i will see you guys later today and check in with you guys and give you guys posts of what's going on all right so dude it's crazy i'm in brandon and my car just lost like all power like everything died the radio turned off the ac started blowing hot air like none of my gauges worked like seriously, my window's stuck. It's about to start raining. And my car's still running. So I'm looking for an auto parts store right now. Um, I think there's one coming up. Oh, dude, this is so nuts. Oh my God. Like, what the freak? Oh, windows stuck, like zero power. Like the car is just straight running like off the alternator, I guess. It's happened on two, on the interstate, man. I've been like, it's been, the radio was flickering, the gauges were working, but the battery light came on and the gauge went down the nine, but now everything's done. Like nothing, nothing's working. I'm hoping I can make it to a freaking auto parts store. I'm hoping it's just a, the battery. Um, this sucks. I had an 11.30 meeting scheduled and here I am about two miles from the place and I'm about to break down. I didn't want to break down in their parking lot and then be screwed. So I figured I'd get to the auto parts store first. Anyways, oh this sucks. Dude I'm like barely limping along here trying to find this auto parts store. Hopefully this car makes it man oh my god it's like kind of puttering like man I think the auto parts store is coming up. Oh, uh, let's make it. Come on. Come on, beast. Come on, where you at? I know there's got to be an auto parts store up here. Oh, come on. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. It's too hot. It's too hot. Come on. Auto parts store. Where we at? Come on, there's got to be something up here. Oh, there's an advance. Oh, sweet. Come on, we're puttering. Uh oh, let's go. Why, the blinkers don't even work. I can't even use the blinker. Come on, we're almost here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, oh, come on, come on, let's go. Ah! Call the place and tell them that I'm dead in the water here. What's up, y'all? We made it. Had to get a new battery, uh, but we're here. It's about the storm. If you haven't seen it, but we're at Gigi's Fabric Shop, and we're gonna look at the Juki 1541S, and uh, pretty sweet industrial machine. Very popular. Uh, Gigi has been kind enough to let us come in the shop, check it out, do some test sewing, and uh, yeah, so let's go inside, meet Gigi, some of her staff, and uh, 
Let's get the sewing, y'all. Let's do it. Hello, is Benjamin here? Benjamin. <laughs> oh, there's hey, Gigi. Benjamin. Oh, hey, Benjamin. Oh. Welcome to Doogie Junkies and Gigi's Fabric Shop. Yeah. Oh, Benjamin. Hey, 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 Benjamin. H
Um, the least amount of fabric that you want to do is definitely like four layers of denim. You don't want to be doing like two layers of uh, denim or, or soft quilting cotton because that is not what this machine is intended to do. So I've got this vinyl four layers of cotton and I'm just gonna, I mean not cotton, the, uh, what was it? Waterproof canvas. The waterproof canvas. And it just sews it like butter. Um, you wanna bring your needle all the way up, lift your knee lift. Guys, you have to look at this knee lift because look at this, it is insane. This is a very important, I'm not putting my finger down there, but <laughs> I think my scissor could probably, let's see, yeah. <laughs> you can clear a lot of fabric with that. Yep. So it's pretty awesome. And then, let's see, we had four layers. I mean, honestly, I could put eight. I could probably put nine and be okay. If I were to just lift up here, it's gonna sew like nothing. So, there you go. Nice. Can you show us, can you just do two layers of that real quick? I can. Because a lot of people start with their linings. Yeah, so let's or for do their two zipper. layers and see what kind of stitch. You also can adjust the stitch length on the dial in front of the machine. So let me, um, let me uh, adjust it a little bit just to be a little bit smaller. So if I was going to do two layers of this, I always use my knee lift because I can get in there a lot easier. Oh, let's put this like normal. Usually when I'm testing, I don't follow any rules. I just break them all. But... And that's slow, but I definitely could sew faster. And if you notice, she's actually very quiet. Being an industrial machine, I think that's pretty cool. Let's use your little cutter here. And there's your stitch quality. A little bit hard probably see because since we have, you know, this magenta pink with the yeah. red, but it's pretty awesome. Um, let's do this denim here. This is like a denim. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Okay. I get a lot of scrap stuff from uh, local um, uh, poultry shops and stuff. Like. Oh, this is actually like, it's almost like a, a heavy linen mm -hmm. with a little bit of canvas to it. But you'll see the stitch quality here in a minute. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at that. Pretty. Yeah, and it gives you a very straight stitch, very consistent on the stitch length. And of course, as far as sewing much heavier fabrics, effortlessly. Nice. Um, one of the things that I love about this machine is its ability to sew from thin to thick. So like if you were gonna be doing a strap on a handbag, and you are doing the top stitch and then you have to turn it around and you're gonna go from light to, you know, from a low lift or like a lower layer to higher, it just sews right through it. So I wanna show you guys that because that's one of the things that I always brag about. Um, I'm just gonna do this and let's add a little bit of this like marine vinyl, um, just pretending like we would be working with a bag. So if this was a bag and I was going to add, have to go from, let's say the bag to the strap. Watch how there's no hesitation. Also, I'm sewing very slow, which typically that's not how you have to sew here, but I always like, oh my gosh. But it's pretty impressive. Now, I wanna show you the, how this happens. When you do this, what you wanna do is you definitely want to lift your foot up a little bit there and then scroll, there we go. It's probably not a good one, there we go. You don't wanna go that slow because it'll hesitate. Now notice how when going down, how it just kept the consistency on the stitches. There was no skip stitches here. It just ate it up like butter. <laughs> like butter. Like butter. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Sweet. Would you like to play? Yes, I'm gonna play. Test, test, test. Wanna make sure the mic's working because I totally forgot to have it plugged in. Test, test, test. Okay, guys, we're back. I had to change the batteries. I'm over here sweating. It's so humid out here. Oh my God. All right, so check this out, you guys. It's really nice, it's hard to see. Here, let's do it on some of this blue. Guys, it's so smooth and quiet. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
back stitching is gorgeous. Like, look at that, y'all. I know we're on wide angle, so it's harder to see, but that's why we're using red thread, though. <laughs> Looks really, really nice. And we're at a stitch length of a five, which is the length that I like to sew at. So again, we're shooting at Gigi's Fabrics in Brandon, Florida. She was kind enough to invite us in with our cameras. Let us play on these machines. And you can control that speed pretty well. You guys know how slow I like to stitch. How straight you can stitch with this is just impeccable. Being that it has the three parts that move for the walking foot, the needle, the feed dog, and the actual uh, presser foot itself is all pulling at the same time, and it's just it stitches so straight, you guys. It's amazing. And it's gonna stitch through anything. Let's go ahead. We'll just pretend like we got the seams of a bag. So we're doing our top stitch. Real thick stuff. Waterproof canvas, some marine vinyl. What are we gonna use for our strap? We're gonna put a strap in here. We can make a strap. We're gonna do it with stuff. We're gonna call our strap. Uh, We'll use this stuff. We're just gonna do a four fold, like you would just do with uh, your other stuff. This stuff is thick. So we'll just fold it, whatever, we'll fold it. Oh, come on. All right, good enough. All right, that's our strap, y'all. It's huge, it's like one and a half inches. <clears throat> We're just gonna throw that right in the middle here. <clears throat> we'll call that our our purse seam, our uh, top stitch. Actually, we probably, I'm gonna fold that one more time. We'll fold our strap one more time. We'll call it our D connector, our D ring connector. All right, this is gonna be fun. Oh, now you're really having fun. Yeah, this is my, my fake D-ring connector. Oops. Wow. Right over the top of that, y'all. Isn't that crazy? That was super smooth. Whoops. Super smooth. Did I miss it? Oh, I went too far. Super thick, went through all of it. Probably would want to lengthen my stitch length on that one though. Let's try that again. This was a five, let's go to a six. I don't think I would ever have any seams this thick, but just for Amazing how straight your material stays. Just amazing. Really nice. The bottom one is a stitch length of six, top one was five going through all this That's a lot of stuff y'all 
straight. Look at that. Look how straight that is. It's amazing. I think just how straight that stitch is is worth the money to invest in this machine. Seriously. It was like almost effortlessly. <laughs> effortlessly. Nice words. All right. Let's see if we can't do a little quick. We'll do a. Let's try something here. Let's see if we can't do a nice little box. Nice control there. Yeah. As soon as I start talking, control. pretty sweet y'all that's pretty thick and it was like butter hot knife through butter my stitch is not the best but the stitches are amazing so yeah that's uh it's nice really nice alrighty we're gonna stop right now Come on over and visit us in Brandon, Florida. And I also wanted to thank you, Benjamin. I yeah. just met Benjamin, so this is pretty cool. My son has been telling him, telling me about him, but I really appreciate you coming out. I really appreciate being here. Thanks for letting me uh, share the space for the day and sew some stuff out on that Juki 1541, which might be coming home today. <laughs> and you can find the Juki uh, 1541s on jukijunkies.com. That is our e-commerce site. And then physically here, our brick and mortar is Gigi's Fabric Shop. Yeah, come and test it out. If you're on vacation in Florida, definitely stop in. If you live in Florida, make the drive. It's worth it, y'all, for sure. So nice in here. Everybody's friendly, cool stuff. Uh, also, Facebook page, Juki Junkies. Yep, yep, so we have a Juki Junkies Facebook group. It is a private group. Um, so the best thing about that is we offer support to our customers nationwide, actually worldwide. Um, so that is what we pride ourselves is an excellent customer service, but also educating the customer throughout the life of their sewing machine awesome that's amazing all right guys i can't wait to post this video so you guys can see all this awesome tutorials and some sewing with Gigi. so all right we'll see you guys when we get back to st pete see ya. <laughs> guys i'm literally shopping the back room at Gigi's fabric shop like they're like hey i walk around <laughs> take a look buy some stuff like, okay look at this stuff look at this stuff guys these animal prints that's so dope and the cheat like nine bucks and it's a big sheet those things are fire. Oh, yeah. We're doing some stuff. All right.